Betty wants to ride. Uh-huh. Okay, you on? Uh-huh. Oh. Who's got new jammies? Christmas jammies and look at her little penguin. Me Good morning. I hate how this chair squeaks. Uh, it's supposed to be like an ergonomic chair, and so what it does is it farts, but then the this part where you sit pushes you forward. So you can't just like recline and chill. It's like always makes you feel like you're about to get off the seat. Okay, so you know how I mean, I eat pretty freaking healthy, and I cook most of my food. No, we're just, not doing this right now. Travis, <laughs> he's been back for two days, and there's just, I mean, you're just, you're at a rate of two <laughs> fast foods a day. Just bags of fast food. That's so funny. <laughs> so today I wanna to talk about mindset. If you get into the right mindset, anything is possible. And I know that's such like a cliche, you know, inspirational poster on a dentist wall, but it's so true and I have a real hard time motivating myself to do anything. And when I did the very first uh, Train Like a Pro challenge, I had been listening to Chris D'Elia. I'm a huge Chris D'Elia fan. I'm a part of the cult. I'm headed to the log cabin. And the thing is, he said, as soon as you decide to do something, it's already done. And it, it was a part of a joke. It was he's a comedian. But dude, it resonated with me really a lot. And at that moment, I was driving home. It's December. I'm like not fit. I'm heavy. I, I have no motivation. It's cold. And it was just this idea of like, as soon as I decide, that flicks something over in the mind. And then you've already decided you're, you're doing it. So then it's done. And there's something that changes inside of you. And during the impossible routes, it's really been like, you just put the, the pieces together and then you show up and then you just start riding and then everything's just going to fall together. It's very easy to say, well, I can't do this or that's too hard or whatever, whatever, whatever. Show up and move in a forward direction. Dude, you'll crush. So anyway, today I really want to talk about how to get into that mindset. Right now, got some day work. Travis killed it with the orders today. Uh, two duffel bags. So, you know what I mean? You're gonna be strapped. Strapped. <laughs> Delivering drugs. I gotta take a quick little break. My mind is mush. Hey, let me see this money for a second. I'll give it right back. Okay. Psych! Okay. My own signature flavor from Flow Formulas. Blueberry agave, look whose face is there. And I designed this bag, dude. What? So we're gonna get out on the real road. It's uh, noon, just a little bit over noon. And so it gets dark around 4.30. So like maybe we could crack out a solid four hours. The Flow Formulas has just a ton of calories per scoop. Great carb ratio to calories um, designed by a chemist, Caleb, who's just an awesome guy. You can save some coins by using DudeBro30 at flowformulas.com. Dude, this jersey is so loud. Okay, so we're on Bayshore. One of my favorite climbs out in this area, about an hour and 20 minutes to the top, depending on pace, probably right now, we're like hour 15, hour 20, something like that. But let's talk about how to get into the mindset to achieve things you otherwise wouldn't be able to achieve. It got really warm. I mean, we're on a climb, it's gonna be cold later, but right now, uh, 
We're looking for chicks. No, we're not. No, we're not, babe. All right, so the number one thing to get in the right mindset for me is to embrace the suck. You have to mentally get on board with that whatever you're about to do is gonna suck. And you need to switch your mindset to, oh no, I hope things don't suck, to, oh, I hope things suck. If that little change makes it to where it starts raining, great, good, I want it to rain. It starts snowing, cool, Get suck it, weather. I'm here for this shit. Oh, there's sand, there's climbs, there's whatevers. You have to embrace that whatever you're about to do can get so crappy and crummy, but you're ready for it. Your mind is already prepared for that terrible suck. So embrace it. All right, number two is to put yourself in a cannot fail situation. Caveat, don't give yourself a heart attack. If you surround yourself with a team and they're all supporting you to the moon, your mind will change. You just will feel like there's no way you can let them down. It's weird that you can let yourself down all day, no big deal. Even straight up strangers, dude. If they're in your corner, you don't wanna let them down. So then you get into a mindset where you cannot fail. You must continue. If you don't have a team, Make yourself accountable by posting that on social media. I know you don't want to. I know you want to be like, hey, I'm going to do this century this weekend, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not. So I don't really want to tell anyone because I don't want to have to tell people I didn't. You're already in the wrong mindset. Post it. Say, I'm going to finish this century. And if you really don't feel confident at all, then rephrase it to, I'm going to give my best effort this weekend at this century. But put it out there. Other people will keep you accountable. When you're in the deep and the hurt and the suck, you'll remember someone, even if you only have one follower, they saw it and they're expecting for you to finish. When you are in a position where there is no way you can fail, you figure it out. You go beyond what you ever thought was possible. So number one, embrace the suck. Number two, put yourself in a cannot fail situation. And number three would be to put your success in someone else's hands. If you're working for someone, when I was working for Kayla at 12 Hours Road America, failure was never an option. This also works for racing. If you've ever been a domestique, Bro, you're not gonna touch the front if the race is all for you, if you're trying to win, if results matter to you personally. If you're racing for your bro, dude, you will turn yourself inside out. And that's why Legion does so well. They have eight guys on the front just drilling it. Their finish line is whenever they're done. So however you wanna apply that to your life, if you race crits or ultras or centuries or group rides, it doesn't matter. Say you're on a group ride, you find your, your friend and you go, hey, I'm gonna help you and get to the top of this climb. You will go way harder. You will be in a different mindset and you will achieve a better result because you did it for someone else. I know that's weird, but it's true. Straight veteran, bro. Number four, and my all-time favorite one, the one I use the most, is live in the future. Again, if I was smarter, I could tell you a bunch of stuff that I heard on Joe Rogan once. There's like no real difference of you imagining something and it being real. Like your brain is gonna have the same process of you thinking of something, visioning it, living in it in your mind, and actually doing it. And this is way harder said than done. But while you are in the suck and the hurt and everything's horrible, don't exist in that moment. Don't be now, live in the future. Envision a moment where you're on the couch and you're eating your favorite dinner and you're warm and you're happy. Roll that through your mind over and over and over again. So if you're in the middle of the desert and it's tough and everyone's going hard and you don't wanna be there, don't be there. Let your body be there. Take your mind and move to the future. All right now, I cannot wait to get home and cook dinner 
and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the avocado. I'm thinking about the Brussels sprouts. I'm thinking about the potatoes. And now here's the key. You don't think about the idea. You think about the details. How crispy are the potatoes? How sweet is the root beer? I know that sounds hippie as shit, dude, but it works. Live in the future and you will achieve greatness. All right, number five, the last one. Just keep pedaling. Just keep moving forward. Don't overthink it. Take the pedal, put it down, it comes up, and do it again. It's the pedal of your own, your own thing of that day. Doing that exam at, at, at school, all those little things, if you just keep pedaling, you will get it done. Yeah, you don't need a bike to do these things. Just move forward in life. Because when the work needs to get done, it's not gonna get it done by itself. You just have to keep pedaling. You gotta just keep moving forward. So those are the five things. Embrace the suck. Be in a cannot fail situation. Rely on others for success. Live in the future and then just keep pedaling. With those five tips, tricks, whatever you wanna call them, uh, more ideas, you'll murder. Uh, I was on Google Maps and it looks like there's this almost like a rock quarry or like a huge building with all these cars at the very end somewhere over there. <laughs> Do you know what that is? No, yeah, that place no is not, burnt, not cars, yeah. yeah um, they're burnt up. Yeah. It's very rare, like you're, it's just nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden it's like, what is this? Right. <laughs> so there's this weird building with cars like way where it shouldn't be, okay? So we're trying to find it. We're pretty far away from it because it's 36 miles from my house uphill. Anyways, we find Forest Service Rangers. They've never heard of it. They don't know what it is. Hmm. Then, mysteriously, the bridge is out and we can't continue. Mm, I think they're hiding a demigorgon, bro. dragging ass uh, I'm dragging ass I gotta finish some work um, I don't want to talk about editing in during an edit but I gotta finish yesterday's edit remind me I gotta stop looking at the camera every time I come into a room I I eye the camera and I'm like where's the camera oh there it is and that annoys me now that I'm looking back on it because I try I'm trying to make it to where you don't even know the camera exists. Like you're just floating amongst my life. And every time I sort of give you the, like that shit's annoying. Today, I want to talk about how So since the wife and the baby are down in town, the wife's having dinner with her friends, Athens just in his room, beaten, whatever. Uh, I'm 
kind of bacheloring it up a little bit. Potatoes, always the easiest, right? Just pan fried potatoes, nutritional yeast, sea salt, coconut oil. I mean, they're uh, it's unbelievable, dude. It's so easy, that's no big deal. Then this is sort of like a vegan tuna. Uh, it's garbanzo beans, mayonnaise, lemon juice, celery. Uh, I put some of this like pesto kale stuff in there. So good. So I mean like, look, here's the thing. I didn't become plant-based because someone yelled at me about food. Uh, they didn't make me feel bad at all and no one even talked about it when i hear people talk about food and macros and all it's just like my mind goes numb so i don't talk about that stuff because i don't find it interesting now if you do find it interesting i apologize for not talking more about that a common misconception is that plant-based athletes do not get enough protein cannot get enough protein the protein is of terrible quality there's no way they can survive. So what we've had today is pretty much an 18 to 20 hour fast. I was fasted all the way up until about an hour and a half into our ride. Then I brought in two bottles of 300 calories and about 100 grams of carbs per bottle. So that was 200 grams of carbs, 600 calories. I got home, I did a protein shake with ripple milk. So that right there was about 30 grams of protein and a ton more carbs. Then I did a spirulina shot. And so that was even more protein and iron. And now for dinner, this garbanzo beans, I, I mean, it's packed full of quality protein. Potatoes actually surprisingly have a ton of protein. So the fats, the carbs, the proteins, I don't know what else you would want from me or a hater to show but your boy's getting in good nutrition, and I always do. I just don't ever talk about it. I don't care what you think about plant-based diets or food. This is objectively bomb.com. Just clicking them down. We're actually tomorrow leaving, uh, not tomorrow. Friday. Tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow I turn 36, that's crazy. Uh, then Friday we go to SoCal uh, for a couple days. And I was got and I was got a fire fire on his shirt. He was chasing me. <laughs> Kid with fire on his shirt was chasing you. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can already tell, but day one I was like super amped. Day two I was pretty yeah, amped. Yeah, you're pretty. You're I'm, pretty low. I'm pretty, I'm pretty low at the moment. I'm tired. I'm tired. I hope you enjoyed the five things to get your mind in the right place to do some amazing things. Hope you enjoyed. As always, vegan cyclist. Yeah. yeah. Winter, you're just digging for gold.